Welcome back to Retro Rewind. Today is going to be a little bit different than our normal videos. I am going to be replacing the screen and repairing this PSP. There's a line of dead pixels that goes right down, I wouldn't say the middle, but towards the left hand side of the screen. So yeah, I bought a new screen and we're going to replace that in today's video. So now everything on it seems to work just fine, except for if there's any kind of pressure on the screen, this line of pixels forms and does not go away for a very long time. Unless you put more pressure on it, but if you do that, you're in danger of breaking your screen. So now to open the PSP, you're going to want to take the battery compartment off, take out the battery, and there should be a warranty sticker right there. And if you just peel that off, there will be uh, two small screws in there they need to take out, and then some screws up here. And then there are two remaining screws here. Now you're going to want to have a place to put these screws, because uh, they're rather small and you don't want to lose them. Now there are two more screws here and here. There's one more screw in the bottom that you need to get actually. Now once all the screws are uh, out of the PSP, you will be able to, should be able to just pry off the back, or pry off the front rather. Now that you have everything off, it might be a good idea to uh, clean the buttons. So now the next step would be to remove the bar here, take it off from there, and then be careful because there is a, there's a, a uh, ribbon cable right there that you want to be careful of. Uh, so you can just take, there's a little black clip right at the bottom of the ribbon cable. So if you just use a screwdriver you can pry that up. So yeah, once you take that off, then um, there are a series of clips holding the screen in on each side that you'll have to undo. So once you have uh, successfully removed the top screen, uh, there are some more ribbon cables that you have to be careful of. Yes, and then there will be more clips to undo. These these clips where the ribbon cables plug in, you should just be able to uh, remove the screen and lift it out. Now, uh, this is where the replacement screen comes in. Before I wasn't being too careful about uh, not touching this screen because uh, it's broken, so I don't really care if there's fingerprints on it or anything, but this one, you will need to be careful that you do not get fingerprints on it or like dust. So you might want to get like a microfiber cloth to wipe down the screen, which I will get now. So now once you have cleaned down the screen, uh, it will come with this rubber gasket that you will want to put on. It should be fine. Famous last words, that should be fine. Now it is time for reassembly. Sorry if this is not the most visually apt video. I'm not really looking to see if I'm on or off, you know, camera all the way. But yeah, right now we just have to put the ribbon cables back in. Now you're going to want to um, reattach the screen into the fixture and then you will want to reattach the bar. Oh man, imagine how much of this I'm going to have to cut now. should be like that. It's just like that. Okay. Uh, now before I reattach everything, everything, 
I'm going to wipe down the screen one more time. I cannot stress how annoying or annoyed I will be if there is dust under the screen. You know what, Mob? I'm probably scratching the screen right now, honestly. So don't try this at home, I guess. Maybe watch somebody who's better at repairing electronics than I am, which would be anyone who repairs electronics. <laughs> so now um, that you have all this reattached, you should be able to just uh, put this guy back on the faceplate. It would be smart of me to clean the faceplate, but in the interest of getting this video done, I will not. I'm also stupid, so there you go. Maybe the next time I do one of these repair videos, I'll do it from an angle where I am able to see the camera screen. And I'm able to see if I'm screwing up royally, shot-wise. So, um, now that you have the face playback on and everything assembled, uh, you're just going to want to put these screws back in. This one is kind of hard to get at. So now all there is to do is to put the battery back in and test it out. And no uh, line of dead pixels this time. This looks about as good as it could for, especially for being a 1000 model, you know, you'd, you'd expect they wouldn't be making these anymore. Uh, because the 1000 is pretty obsolete, even the two or three, two and 3000 are, so. A very annoying problem fixed with about $20. Uh, I'd say this was a success. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now, obviously I'm not like an electronics repair person or something, um, but you know, so for $20 on Amazon, I'll put the link to the screen in the description. You'll be able to repair it, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will probably not be a repair video, it'll probably be something um, more like an essay or scripted. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.